So the first thing that I like to do when I wake up is just roll my yoga mat out. And I like to do um, Psych Truth on YouTube. I like to do their beautiful morning yoga stretch for beginners. It's a 20 minute energy and flexibility workout routine. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so for breakfast, I am going to be having some melon, so I just have to dig it out of my fridge. And I live with my parents, in case you're wondering what all of the dairy and milk and all that is at the bottom. So, for some reason, my melon got buried. Okay. So here are my delicious melon balls. Um, I balled up a cantaloupe yesterday. So that's what I'm going to be having first off. This is some of my leftover soup from yesterday. I'll probably show you guys at lunchtime because I'll probably have that for lunch. All right. So I'm just going to grab a bowl for the melon that I'm not going to eat because just in case I don't eat it all, I don't want to contaminate it if the rest of my family wants some because I have my cold sore. Okay, so this is how much I'm leaving my family and this is how much I'm going to be eating. So I'm pretty much still going to be eating the entire cantaloupe. So I'm just going to grab a fork and start eating. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what it looks like around my house in November. This is what it looks like in Canada at the beginning of winter. It's pretty. There's lots of snow. Well, not lots, but there's a little bit of snow and all the trees look all rigid and kind of cool. So this is what it looks like here in Canada. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my three large ripe bananas. And about two cups of water, and I'm just going to start by blending this up first. Oh, should plug it in. Plugging it in generally helps. Blended those up. You probably could have gone with a little less water if you had the consistency to be the same as um, a smoothie. Or a milkshake, sorry, vanilla milkshake. Because um, then it would be thicker. But I want that water in my system. So I'm just going to leave it. So I just added a handful of ice. And I'm going to be having some um, organic coconut palm sugar. I'm probably going to just put about a tablespoon in. So I'll grab my little tablespoon device here. And um, pop that in, and I will update you guys in a minute. So I decided to just leave it as a delicious banana smoothie. 
because it wasn't tasting like a vanilla milkshake at all. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, when I make the vanilla milkshake vegan version, I usually make it with a Daterade. So I'll take some dates, whatever, you can't see them, but I'll take some dates and some water, some ice, and vanilla drops, and that really tastes like a vanilla milkshake. When you do it with bananas, it doesn't really taste like a vanilla milkshake, but it does still taste amazing. It tastes really, really good. Super fresh. Um, I love the smell of a sweet banana smoothie. So, I'm just going to clean up my little area. I love um, making these meals because the cleanup is so minimal. Like, you really have to do hardly anything. Um, yeah, put my vanilla away. In my cupboard. Um, I like to just keep my coconut sugar out because I use it all the time. Same with my dates, so I just leave those. This kitchen is a bit of a disaster zone at the moment, but whatever. I push my blender back. And um, there you go. You can't tell because the kitchen is so messy, but the area that I was working in is clean. So, um, yeah, super easy cleanup, and I'm going to go drink my smoothie. So I was just thinking, and I thought it would be kind of cool if I shared my little tips on how I clean my room. Um, yeah, so I am going to just kind of run you guys through, like, some of the basic steps that I think um, make it easier to clean your room. So the first thing I recommend that you do is make your bed because especially if you have a large bed like me, it totally transforms the look of your room. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my bed. So there is my bed made. As you can see, it makes a huge difference. Um, and the next thing that I like to do is I like to pick up my clothes. Usually there's a lot more clothes around, um, but there's still clothes everywhere and that usually makes a giant difference as well. So I'm going to go pick up my clothes and I'll be right back. Okay, so there I just picked up the clothes. In my room, like I said, usually it makes a lot more of a difference, but I actually cleaned up my clothes last night. But um, the next thing that I like to do is just pick up any of the elephants in the room. For example, my yoga mat, my suitcase, um, you know, my foam roller, some giant binders, stuff like that. I like to pick up all those kind of giant things in the room that are just obviously out of place. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's that done. Um, so the last step, well not the last step, but the last step in kind of appearance for the most part is picking up all the little things. And this is the step that I absolutely hate. So see all those little details there, all those little bits, bobby pin there, some little shot glasses, you know. Not a whole lot going on there, but there's a little bit going on right there. Um, got a little bit there, got a bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there. And a few little bits up on here um, and down there. So that is what I do. There's actually a few up on here and down there as well. So cleaning up all those little bits, all the little teeny things, um, is the next step. So I finally got all the little details picked up. Voila, voila, voila. Okay, and I'm just going to prove to you guys I didn't shove it all in my closet. Um, still relatively organized. Duffel bags and teddy bears, summer clothes, old speaker, sleeping bag, jewelry box, and mm, suitcase. So. Yeah, but I'm just going to close it because it looks nicer when the doors are closed. So, there is that. And also, by the way, I found my throw blanket. So I put that on. And, whoopsies. The only thing left to do is obviously physically clean it. Um, like, vacuum the floor and kind of dust off. Um, like all the different surfaces and all of that jazz so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back 
just want to get a little close-up of this area because from far away it looked like it was still messy but it's actually not and I'm gonna get a little close up oh I forgot my simple wipes but I'll get those in a minute close-up of this area looked messy but it's actually not so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum and whatnot and I'll be right back oh and also smoothie is about halfway done now all right so there is my room finally clean um super exciting and i'm gonna get all up close and personal you can see my floor is clean um you can see my vanity is clean and you can see this is all sparkling so yeah that is my room cleaned and that is kind of the steps that i go about cleaning it i think it works the best so hope this was kind of a random interesting tidbit to the vlog because this is what I spent a good chunk of my day doing. And don't forget to check out my room tour video if you're excited. Okay, so I drank my smoothie. And this isn't my dinner. This is kind of like my between lunch and dinner snack. So I'm going to be having some pasta. This isn't corn pasta, unfortunately, but... I don't have any, so I'm just going to have pasta and some sauce. I don't have any low sodium sauce either, but just some pasta sauce. Um, yeah, I won't put a lot of pasta sauce on it, but just a little bit. So I'll update you guys in a minute. Okay, so I literally just put like a tablespoon maybe a tablespoon and a half of sauce on there like there's not very much sauce at all and um that's what i'm gonna have for my snack if you are in the mood for like a lot of sauce then just add your own tomato or like just regular tomatoes you can get in a can that don't have added salt um i have some tomatoes here so if i was in the mood for like a really saucy pasta i would just blend up a tomato and add it on and just kind of mix it with my pasta sauce to kind of make a less salty, um, more diluted kind of sauce. But yeah, this is what I'm going to have. I'm really excited. This looks like a really tasty snack. 